Okay, so we've already got the foundation on. As you can see, I mean, it's perfectly done. And we don't have any lines or anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Large Shadow Brush by Elf Cosmetics. And we're going to take our Angled Brush by Elf Cosmetics. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Yeah. Now we're going to take and dip it into our white. Now, I mean, this is really, really white. So kind of don't fear about it. You want to put it right, right there. I don't know if you can see that. Now, as you can see, it's dropping because, of course, this mineral powder is really loose. But you want it right there. You don't want to go any further than your eye. You just want it to the edge there. You want to do that on both sides. And don't worry if you get it under here because it is mineral powder. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to mess up your look. Um, just make sure that if you use all beauties that you really wear something else other than what you're going to wear out because it's really, really just a loose, loose powder. Um, once you get that white line there, add on here. So you know where you're starting and where you're ending. If you go a little bit too far with it, you can kind of correct it with your finger, just like that. And then we dip into your yellow. Now, I like this yellow. This is kind of my favorite. I don't know if you can see that. It's a butternut tan. And I kind of tap off a little, and I bring it with the white in across my lid and across all the way up to the top. Now I'm going to do that on both sides. And as you notice, I'm not really loading loading up the brush because that would be kind of freaky to have on, especially since this is a very nice look to where it's not overly done. And make sure you blend it right up the end. Because of the hooded eyes that I have, the only thing you really see is the top. And just a kind of sliver of color at the top of the eye. And you always want to go from this way. Not this way. If you go this way, it closes your eyes. You want your eyes to be big and bright and beautiful, especially if they're like mine. Okay, and once you get that done, you want to choose your pink. Now, this is the color I use, usually wear. It's a fuchsia. Um, it's nothing extravagant, and it's got a few sparkles in it. I mean, you can get fuchsia from just about any cosmetic company now. And you want to take this, and you kind of want to just touch it on your eye. And when you touch it, just go lightly across the lid and maybe a little bit here, okay? And now once you have that, now this is my favorite, and I, I, I love Ross for this, because when Ian came out with his brushes, I had gotten the chance to get one. It was bought for me from a friend, and his brushes are just just so, so amazing. And I was kind of shocked when I had gotten it. And I mean, um, it kind of gotten all ucky and we had to kind of, you know, scrape it and paint it white. But, you know, if you're going to get your brushes, make sure you get them from Elf Cosmetics or a reputable person that you know makes good brushes. Because a good brush is a very hard thing to find anymore. Back to the eye, once you get the pink on the way you want it, you want to go back in with your clean brush and you kind of want to go in a circular motion all the way up to the brow line. And you really want to blend that in just so it's just perfectly blended in. There's no color outside of that brow line. You see? And you want to do that on both sides. You just really want to get in that crease. Make sure that you get right up to that line. And don't go past this line that you made. 
Just remember that line was there for a reason. And then you're done. Make sure that there's none on your knees because you really don't want weird eyes. And now that we're done that, we're going to go back and we're going to take our e.l.f. Cosmetics powder, which is a loose powder, and mine's light beige. As you can see, it's made by e.l.f. And I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to flawless finish under my eyes, like so. And you just kind of pat it. You don't want to bring it across because then you get those kind of, you know, I've already got them like bags under my eyes from not sleeping, but you really don't want to add any more to it. And then you just go across and just make sure that everything is just not shining. It's non-shimmering powder, so you want to make sure that that's done. And once you're done with that, I want to go back, and this is my favorite, and it's by Maybelline New York. And it's the Extra Extra Pro extensions, Hydrofuge, and it has the 1 and 2 to it. I don't really use the 1 and 2. I just use the 2. And because you boo-boo every single time that you do your eyes, you get eyeshadow right on top. You want to go down, move that lash, and then up. And you make sure you get your corners, too. So you get kind of that angel eye effect. And you do that on both sides. And you kind of wiggle it in. You don't want to just go plop and it's there. Because that just really looks cheesy. You don't do your under. Never do by your waterline, especially if you have closed eyes like me. Because then it just makes it so horrible. Now, once you're done with that... You want to take your favorite lipstick. Remember, if you play up your eyes, you do not want to play up your lips. I take my fuchsia. And it's Super Stay by Revlon. And it's 24 hour. And all you want to do is you want to take it and glide it across your bottom lip. Don't go any further than your lips your natural lot. And then you want to just lightly put some color on the top. You don't want it to stand out, but you do want it there. And now this, I love this so much, it has a chapstick with it. Now once it's dry, it does take a couple of seconds to dry. You want to take your chapstick, which comes with it. It's on the other side, which is real cool. And you want to go over your lips. Just to give it a kind of glossy shine. You can always carry it with you. Or you can bring your chapstick. It really doesn't matter. And then, you want to take our Elf Cosmetics Shimmer Eye Pencil. Mine comes with... Um, this cute little hmm, sharpener. I think it's really nice, though. But it doesn't have that smudge thing, and you really don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to take it, and you want to pull down your eye, and you just want to go across your waterline, front and back, all the way up this area here, and the same thing for the back. And there you have it. It doesn't take much. And I'm sure you have your colors at home already that you like the best. This is the way I wear my makeup and this is the way I like it. Most people actually ask me how I wear my makeup and what products that I do use. Um, I've used Maybelline, Elf Cosmetics. Um, and now I'm doing the all day um, wear stuff, which is, it's nice, but you really don't want to use it a lot because it really messes up your skin. Now, at the end of the day, which you're going to love, this is fun. Ready? I'm going into my cabinet. Okay. My cabinet is here. At the end of the day, please take off your makeup or you will look so old. 
you want to try this. Now, I don't know if you can see this. It's by Neutrogena. It's a one-step gentle cleanser. And what you do is you pump it out, and it foams up, and you wash your face with it. You make sure your face is clean. I mean, it even takes off my waterproof mascara, which is really good. And then you go. And for very little, I mean really very, very little, especially um, for treating your face, you want two products. I went back into my cabinet. The first one, which you're going to love, is this. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. But this is my favorite. It's Valentina Even Glow Serum. It has vitamin C, 20%. I just did the product test with them. Um, Michael, the owner, is just precious. I mean, completely big sweetheart. And his product, you can tell it shows that he cares about his customers and about his friends and everything. Um, the other one I got from Cleopatra's Choice. It was also a product test and and review. Um, it's my joy, Adelphia. It's a mineral lift serum. After I put Michael's on and from Valentina, and my face is completely dry from it, I put on the Adelphia, and then I'm set for the night. And when I go to sleep and I wake up, I have fresh skin, no blemishes, perfect. It's a great way to start. Make sure that you rewash your face when you get up in the morning. It is so important to make sure that you keep washing your face. Because if you don't, you will get fine lines, wrinkles, blemishes. You don't want that. Trust me. It's bad enough to get the double chin when you get five and age. But that's our makeup tutorial. Simple, easy, complete. And um, I hope I didn't jostle the camera around too much for you. But this is the finished look. I hope you like it. And I will do a couple more as soon as we get uh, our products in. Thanks.